So, the first way, and actually I believe last class period, I, uh, I went through some of these examples with you guys. And I showed you, I, went, I did the same problem and I showed you both methods. So I'm just going to do one method for this problem and then the other problem I'll do the other method. Uh, so the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is what we notice right here is up top. Forget about this denominator. Here, I'm trying to add two rational expressions. We only know we can only add rational expressions when they have the common denominators, right? Thank you. Right? So right now, let's combine these. Let's add them up and see what we get. So the only way to get these added up together is to combine them. So I'm just going to kind of do this over on the side. And let's just add them up and see what we get. So if I had 2 over x minus y plus 1 over x plus y. So if I need to get them to be the common denominator, I would know that my LCM would have to equal x minus y times x plus y, right? Because you, there's no other, like, you're not going to say like the number's 12, Juliana. You just look at this and say, oh, OK, well, my, my denominator has to contain both of them. So if I just kind of multiplied them, that would be it works. So to get these to be their common denominator, I'll multiply by x plus y. And I make sure I do this on the top and the bottom. Right? Then I apply distributive property, and I get this solution. 2x plus 2y plus x minus y all over x minus y times x plus y. Then I can combine my like terms. 2x plus x is 3x, and 2y minus y is y. So my final answer is going to equal 3x plus y over x minus y times x plus y. OK? So now why would I do all that stuff? Why would I spend all that time to add these up? Well, if I rewrite this problem, if I rewrite the problem, rather than saying 2 divided by x plus minus y plus 1 over x plus y, if I write this as 3x plus y divided by x minus y times x plus y, then divide that by 1 over x minus y, what does this look like now? What are we now doing? We are now dividing what? Rational expressions. And did we first learn how to divide rational expressions? That's what we learned last. That's what we learned before, right? So when you divide rational expressions, you are actually multiplying by the reciprocal. So what I could do, if you like that method, you could say, all right, add these up to get to this. Now I'll combine it to one singular rational expression. Now I'm dividing. So what that really means is I'm multiplying. So I have 3x plus y divided by x minus y times x plus y times the reciprocal. Yes? No? Maybe so? Yes. Now we look at this, and when we multiply, we know that now we're going to have some terms that could um, divide out to 1. So then we simplify this to 3x plus y divided by x plus y. And no, those do not cancel each other out. OK? And there you go, guys. That's it. Done. Fine. Finito. Finito. Un espanol.